everyone, I hope you all are having a great day and today I'm doing something not book related, it's a little bit different and I'm going to be doing a Korean beauty slash skincare haul. I recently came back from a three week trip to South Korea and something that's pretty notable about Korean culture, especially as of the past like couple of years or so, is that skincare and beauty is a really big industry. So during my visit, I spent an unjustifiable amount of money on skincare and beauty products and I thought I would share them with you guys today. So I have various products from various stores and even if it's from the same store, I might have purchased them on different trips. Like I would go to a Nature Republic like three or four times. But yeah, I think I'll organize this by store. That seems like the most logical way to do it. So first I'm gonna start with Nature Republic, which is probably the store that I frequented the most and also where I bought the most stuff. So I bought this skincare solution. It's a snail solution skincare set. It comes with snail skin booster and snail emulsion. I think this is one of Nature Republic's most popular products. I've used this before in like smaller versions, so I just bought this huge set because why not? You can never have too much skincare, as you'll see is my motto for the rest of this video because I really 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 bought so much stuff. I also bought this pack of masks and it comes with 10 in a packet and this particular one is orange. Korea has a bunch of sheet masks and the sheet masks come in different, I don't know what to call them, like flavors and different flavors I guess do different things for your skin. They have different purposes. So um, orange and like other vitamin C kind of fruit based sheet masks are going to be brightening, whitening for your skin. So I bought these. Don't worry, you'll see many more face masks later in the video. I also bought this from Nature Republic and it is an oil mist. It's Argan Essential Oil Hair Mist and you spray it onto your hair and I think it's supposed to make it like healthy and silky. That's what I was looking for. There are a bunch of different hair mists that do different things like things for like damaged hair or whatever whatever but I just wanted something that was going to make my hair soft. So I got this. I also got these two cute gel polishes and I've never purchased gel polish before. I don't know if you like apply it normally like a normal polish. I don't know if you have to get special nail remover for it, but yeah, nail polish. I also bought two eyeliners. I think they're the same formula, just like a different applicator. So this is a felt tip eyeliner and this is a brush tip eyeliner. And I prefer felt tip, but I bought this one as well because it was more expensive and I assumed that it was better quality. But yeah, I love eyeliner. Eyeliner is like my thing. It is my go-to makeup product. So I bought both. I haven't tried out the brush tip one, but I have tried out the felt tip one and I like it a lot. I just think the tip is a little too thick, but I still really enjoy it and I really like the formula. The formula is like one of those eyeliner formulas where when you're in the shower and you like rub your eye, the eyeliner kind of peels off, if that makes any sense. If you have tried a lot of eyeliners, maybe you know what I'm talking about. But I kind of enjoy that because then it doesn't smudge everywhere and make me look like a raccoon when I come out of the shower. The next store that I'm going to talk about is Vanilla Co. And I only bought one thing from Vanilla Co. And that was this famous product. This is Clean It Zero. It's a makeup remover. I first heard about this from watching Jen M, who's Close Encounters. And I bought this in a set with my older sister. Um, and it came with two of these big ones, oh man, and then one pink small one and one green small one, and she took the green one, so I got the pink one. I think pink is original, it's whatever, I don't mind. Next I'm going to talk about Tony Moly, and I bought three more masks from Tony Moly. These are like a little more high quality, because these are like individual masks. This one's for blemishes, this one's a vitamin C brightening one, and this is another whitening sheet mask. From Tony Moly, I also bought this lip pencil kind of thing. It's like one of those pencils, but that is like a lipstick. Like you put it all over your lips as a lipstick. And I really, really, really like this. It's on my lips right now. I really like this color. I really like the formula of it. The only thing I don't like about it is that it just rubs away super easily. Like you drink a sip of water and like half of your lipstick is on the cup. It has no longevity whatsoever, but I think the color is so pretty and I love how creamy it is. I just... I really enjoy this. I wish I had bought more. Next I'm going to talk about skin food. Skin food is a lot more skincare based, um, as you might be able to tell from their name, and less makeup based. I bought a black sugar honey wash off kind of mask. As you can tell, I have not used it yet. And I also bought a black sugar scrub, which is an exfoliating scrub. Again, as you can tell, I have not used it yet. But this is one of their most popular products, I think I want to say. I also bought 10 sheet masks from Skin Food. They're all different flavors, if you will. We have blueberry, tomato, 
kale, green tea, lemon, some of these get wild, caviar, olive, snail, broccoli, and orange. I'm not really sure how they make these sheet masks from all these things like broccoli and caviar, but you know, I'm gonna try it out, so. Next I'm gonna talk about Innisfree, and Innisfree I think is one of my favorite of these stores. I just think that they use, you know, quality ingredients and in what they make, and it, I don't know. I just really like Innisfree for some reason. But I got a green tea balancing skincare set, and it comes with green tea balancing skin, and green tea balancing lotion and smaller versions of those and then also a cream. So I bought this during one trip to Innisfree. On a separate trip to Innisfree, I went in again and they were doing a promotion for green tea seed serum. And this apparently is different. It's not included in this set and the lady like convinced me to buy it because she was like, this is uh, one of our most popular products and it's so good for your skin. You put this on first and then you can go in with your set items and put those on and yeah. The lady was just very adamant on the importance of this serum and so I purchased it and also the packaging was really cute. From Innisfree I also bought this Powerproof Pen Liner. This is another felt tip eyeliner and this is my favorite of the three eyeliners. I really, really like this and it's not joking when it says Powerproof. Like it is so resistant. Like when I have this on and I wash my face with like a cleanser. Everything's gone except for this eyeliner. It's still there. And I usually erase my makeup, especially because I wear waterproof mascara, with oil, like with coconut oil. Coconut oil does a really great job of getting rid of my makeup normally, except when I put on this eyeliner. For some reason, coconut oil does not remove this, so I actually have to use legit makeup remover to get this off my eyes. But I really, 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 really like this tip, and I really like the formula. It's very long wearing. Yeah. Powerproof pen liner. Innisfree is not joking around. The next store I want to talk about is Etude House, which is primarily known for a lot of makeup. My parents hate my skin. They think my skin is like dirty and gross, and they're like, you need to cover that up with BB cream and with sunscreen. And so at their prodding, I bought a BB cream from Etude House. And let me tell you, the thing about buying like face makeup, I'm, I don't normally wear face makeup to begin with, but I was like, okay, I guess I'll buy some now that I'm here. But the thing is, no, I cannot buy face makeup in Korea because I am too dark for this dang country. A lot of stores only have two colors for their face makeup. There's like a lighter beige and then like a darker beige. Some stores have three colors, but Etude House by far had the most color selection and I got their darkest color which is called tan and guess what it is still too light for me I bought this BB cream and I was so excited because it was like the darkest color I had seen in this entire country and it was matte and it has SPF 50 sunblock in it and I was really hyped to use it but after I started using it my skin got really bad like it became really rough really bumpy and I'm pretty sure it's because of this BB cream because after I stopped using it my skin went back to normal so I'm not really sure what to do with this. I'm like really sad about it. And so after this, I did not buy any more skin products from Etude House. But I did get one of their plain 101 pencils and this is color 77. It's like a really nice bronzy gold color. And it's something that you can use as eyeshadow or eyeliner. And I really, really enjoy this. It has a really nice creamy consistency and the color is really pretty. So, you know, plain 101 pencils. Good stuff. BB cream, not so much. And then finally, during my last shopping trip to like beauty stores, I went to Aditam for the first time. And Aditam is a little different than the other stores that I mentioned because it's more of like an Ulta, more of like a Sephora, where it's like a bunch of different brands in one store. And the products are usually like a little nicer, like a little more high-end. I bought this Real Ampoule Color Corrector, and it looks like this. It has a brush tip, and you click this thing on the end to distribute the product into the tip, and it erases your dark circles. And at first, I wasn't sure whether it was very effective or not, but after I used it for the first time, my mom was like, oh my god, did you just use that product that we just bought? Because it's really working. So I guess I'm impressed. I used this, and then I put my normal concealer on top of it, and I feel like it works great. And I also got a powder pack at Aditam. This one's by Mamond. They had three shades of this, all variations of beige, and I got the darkest shade, which is 23. It's called Sand Beige. I feel like I don't even have to say it at this point, but it is too light for me, but I still wear it anyway. It's not too, too light for me. Like, I don't look like a ghost when I wear it. I've never really used face makeup before, but I've been playing around with this lately, and I really, really enjoy it. It provides really nice coverage, and also the finish is so soft. Like, after I put this on my face, Sometimes I'll just brush my cheek and I'm like, wow, 
that is soft powder. But yeah, kind of unrelated. I also bought these cat ears in Korea and I find them super adorable. I wore them out in public and my mom was like, are you not embarrassed? And I was like, hmm. I should be, but I'm not. But that concludes this beauty skincare haul. I bought a lot of stuff, probably more than I needed to. I bought three eyeliners, for example, but honestly, I can never have too much liquid eyeliner. It is my life. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this and making it to the end. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Let me know if you have any experience with Korean beauty products or Korean skincare products, because I'd always heard about it, but I didn't really know anything about it. And then I just went into the stores and I went crazy. But again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll have a fantastic day and happy reading. Bye.